let's talk about sum and some ifs functions. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to insert some rows on top here because I want to put my calculations on top of this data. Now I've just entered one row and now I'm going to have to go here and insert another and I need a little more space so I have to keep repeating this thing and it's really not comfortable going here right clicking and inserting every time. So I'm going to press F4 at this point and this is going to be repeating the last thing I did. So I'm going to press it a few times. I have five rows. I think that's going to be enough. So I'm going to start with my sum function. I'm going to label things. So I'm going to call this sum and sum ifs. So this is going to be our sum function. This is going to be our sum ifs function. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by totaling up all the sales to see how much total sales we have. So equals, that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with sum. So I want to sum up starting from here, which is in the back, and I can't really click where I want to start. And we have a lot of data, so it's not going to be very easy to just select with our mouse uh, going 20,000 records down. So this is what I'm going to do. Because this is being blocked, so I could technically close this and click on it, but because it's being blocked, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually use my arrow keys on my keyboard. So I'm going to press arrow key down, so it moves one down from the current cell that I'm in. And I'm going to keep pressing down until I hit the first sales number we have here. Now that's F7. Now what I want to do, I want to select from here all the way down. So the way I'm going to accomplish this, I'm going to press Control Shift and arrow key down. So there it is. I've highlighted all the sales numbers there. And what I'm going to do is close my parentheses at this point, hit enter, and that should tell us how much that is. So we got this number, almost like 5 million. Now let's talk about some ifs function. So what we did, we just summed up all of the sales numbers. That's what we did. Now what I'm trying to do this time, let's say I want to sum up only the numbers that are new balance brand right we have one new balance here like this one we have another one here and so on so we do not want to include adidas or any other brands in our total so how could we accomplish that we could use a function called sum f's so i'm going to start in my equal sign and i'm going to type again so to make this a little more pleasant experience i'm sorry so i'm going to go and see what my range is so that's from f7 to 20,006. Great. So that's from the seventh row to 20,006 row. So I'm going to try equals some Fs. So there is also a function called some F. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use some Fs right now. So that's some Fs. The first thing for our some Fs is the sum range, which is the same range of numbers we were just summing up. Right, so it was from F. I just forgot, so I'm gonna, I guess, repeat this. So I'm gonna scroll down, that's F7, and uh, I guess we'll do Control Shift arrow key down to highlight all of those numbers. Now, usually, it's a good practice to lock this range right here, which I'm going to do by pressing F4. Now, in this particular case, since I'm doing one calculation, doesn't really matter but if I was planning to copy this formula down and maybe get some other nice uh, calculations going I would definitely need to lock this so I'm gonna hit comma here and the next thing is criteria range so this is the number sum range is the numbers we're summing right now the criteria range is gonna be again the range the name range is the key. So when it says sum range, it means it's a range of numbers, not one number, right? So the criteria range is the range of uh, values where we're going to be checking for what it is that we want. Now, what we said, we want to see if it's new balance or not. Now, new balance appears in this range of numbers in this E column. So I'm going to type that range in. So it's going to be from E7. It's going to be the same size range so from F7. This is going to be E column, E7 to E20,006. That's what we have. So that's that column. So I'm going to press F4 immediately after this to lock that range too. 
comma, and now we're going to say, so what's the criteria? So we want to know in that range that we've highlighted for criteria range, what do we want to pick? We said what we wanted was new balance. So I'm going to use quotes here because it's going to be text. So I'm going to type new balance and close the quotes. Now uh, you can see there are more arguments here, but they're in square brackets, which means it's optional. We're going to get to those. But for now, I'm going to just close this parentheses and hit enter. And what we should see is the total just for new balance right now in that particular cell. Now, usually this is not a very good way of doing things to hard code the actual new balance value in the cell like the way I did. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually cut and paste this some ifs over here and over there, I'm going to type new balance. And what I'll do, I'll go inside of my formula instead of just hard coding new balance right there. I'm going to exclude that and here that's E3 cell. So I'm going to type E3 to attach to this new balance cell. I'm going to hit enter and that should give us the same number. Now the difference is that I can now go here and change the brand and the number should update which it does so I'm going to switch this back to new balance and that should give us our new balance total that was great now uh, we also saw there were some other arguments now in addition to just having like new balance total now let's say we wanted to know just the ones that are new balance but we also want to check that that occurred in a particular region. So we want to see in Midwestern region, how much of New Balance brand of product we sold, right? Not just New Balance brand of product. So this is where these other some ifs conditions come in. So the first thing I'm going to do again to not hard code things in my formulas, I'm going to type Midwestern right here, Midwestern right there. So I guess I'm going to copy this formatting down, click on the format painter, click Midwestern. So it looks similar there. So right now I want to update this or maybe I'll keep this the way it is and I'll call this some ifs. Two conditions. We'll just make another formula. And a lot of this second formula is going to be very similar to the first one, to this one. So we already know our range is from at, from the seventh row to 20,006. So I'm going to go ahead and type equals sum ifs. So the sum range is going to be the numbers we're trying to sum up. So again, that's going to be from F7 colon F20,006. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that range, comma. Now the next thing is criteria range. So we still want to make sure it's the brand new balance, which means our first criteria range is going to be from E7 colon E to 20,006. And again, hit F4 to lock that as well. Looks good, comma. Now in this range, we want to make sure it's new balance. So I'm going to go ahead and type E3 which is where the text new balance is. So we're checking in this range, whether it's new balance or not, which is in each cell. Now, this is what we had last time. This was our last formula. Now what I'm going to do, just keep going. So I'm going to hit comma here. So after the comma, now we have our criteria range two. Now our criteria range two, we said we're going to check our, uh, 
regions basically we want to see if it's midwestern or not so our regions is that's a b c this is d so in our c column so i'm going to go from c7 colon c twenty thousand six and again f4 to lock that so there we have it so i'm going to hit comma again and then we want to get the criteria in this range so in this range we're going to check whether it's midwestern or not and our midwestern is in our e4 cell so i could just click on it but sometimes i just prefer to type it because i feel like it's more error prone but doesn't matter whatever is comfortable for you so at this point i'm going to close my parentheses now the cool thing about sum is function if i had a third criteria so maybe i wanted to check if it's one of the salespeople or not i could keep going by hitting another comma another criteria range another criteria and so on but in this case i don't need that i'm just going to close my parentheses hit enter and that should be our number so that's our new balance in our midwestern region right so if i go ahead and update any one of these two so i'm gonna go and type adidas there we have it and now let's pick and both numbers if you pay attention update right now it's adidas in midwestern now let's say we want to do western so this shouldn't be case sensitive so we should be able to just type western in lowercase and there it is that's our adidas western number so that's our sum ifs function and our sum function at least basically introduction to sum ifs let's put it this way because you know when you get to like dates there are some additional things you can learn about it but that should do for our example